welcome to a new unboxing video. I've been a little busy and kind of hoarding my packages, so I have quite a few packages from different days right now to open and unbox with you guys. So let's get started. These here, these did actually come with another item, but I already opened it, was my new Velma wig. Um, these are from Douglas, but I already opened the Velma wig because I needed it for summer Velma. So, insert picture here. But in that package also came with these pants. These are brown, like stretchy pants that kind of have like a boot cut. These are for Shaggy, for another mystery gang cosplay. I have the shirt for Shaggy already. So here are the pants for Shaggy. This is from Light Fury, and it is a cosplay piece for a character. I'm kind of piecing together my interpretation of her. It will be most likely for Spooky Season. But this really pretty purple gown. <sighs> the character is Vanessa from Little Mermaid. <laughs> but it's my interpretation of her. I found this dress online and thought that it like, it really reminded me of her. So, there's kind of like the corset bit here in different colors of purple string. The dress itself has this lighter purple on top, kind of off the shoulder, and then different purples along the bottom. I can't wait to try it on because, like I said, the minute I saw it, I really thought of this character. So, thank you so much. in this one. This is the smaller one first. This is a long 
blonde wig that I'm going to use to create this character's long hair and kind of fancy it up a bit. These are ducklets. So we start with the long wig. Crinkly. This is Rapunzel from um, Tangled specifically. Her purple princess dress. So obviously the dress and the deep long long wig for Rapunzel go together. It's really pretty. Really pretty purple fabric. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but very pretty. Another one I can't wait to try. Years ago, I did a Beetlejuice Halloween costume, and it was one of my favorites, so I really wanted to do a cosplay, like a full-on cosplay, now that I do cosplay. So, Douglas, thank you so much. Another one that will be for spooky season, I think, and uh, I might do some content with both Beetlejuice and my Lydia from last year. season cosplay and Douglas. Douglas will know what it is. For a piece I'm using to get that character. basically like masks with hands. Especially like in the winter, my hands get really cracked and whatnot. So these would be super nice to have milk extract and soften and dry my skin. All for new skin care. This 
is for a very like niche um, cosplay character. It's from Douglas, I believe. Um, these are just pieces. So these are just beautiful peacock feathers. Um, but I need these to create a piece for the character. So arts and craft project, if you will, but beautiful peacock feathers that you will be seeing in the upcoming cosplay that I'm making. that we just undid. Thank you, Douglas. It is a little bit different than the green wig that I have. So this will be styled for Beetlejuice. My version of Beetlejuice, of course. Help the artist out. This piece here. I have some pieces like it. Um, actually, in my office, I have some characters that I like, but I don't have that girl. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like on, um, it's supposed to look like on um, dictionary paper. Isn't it pretty? I'm gonna hang it in my office there. This artist is on Etsy and Instagram, Mike's Mixed Bag. That's who did this artwork, so that's who did that, in case you want to check that artist out. for a really long time. Um, I don't think I'm going to open these. These are rather large, but I'll put some pictures so you guys can know for upcoming videos. It's so kind of exciting about it. It's like a, like a library backdrop. Kind of like a dark library, spooky library. I do so much with that, with ASMR videos and with cosplay. It's a really cool background picture. That you can kind of see the books right here. We have, let's see which one. This one, it's a forest. You can kind of see some of it, but it's like kind of a dark and spooky forest. It'll be so good for spooky season. You know, all year with me. It's like a dark, spooky forest. And this one, you can't really see much of. Um, this one is like a forest, like in jungle, like a pretty 
forest greenery. That will come in handy with a lot of my role plays and cosplays if I can't film outside. So those three beautiful pieces. Thank you so much. Okay, our last package for today. was not expecting this gift from Douglas, so this piece is not only going to be for a cosplay, for a specific cosplay character that actually goes along with these feathers, but it's going to be super fun for relaxation and ASMR as well, so this is like, like a mini little harp and I can't wait to with it and maybe do some little music sessions outside. It sounds so nice. Keep nice little case and everything. I feel so fancy. with this and play music in the middle of the woods. This is a nice little carrying case. There's a tutorial, additional like strings and stuff, and maintenance and care. It's gonna bring me back to my violin days. Alright lovelies, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you look at my wish list or send me anything, thank you so much. Hello lovelies, welcome to a new evening. Some more packages to unbox with you today. I will say that some of these I have already opened but I'd like to share them with you. I've been experiencing a bunch of drama with shipping packages lately so I've had to immediately open things to see if it has accurately shipped to me or not. It's been this whole thing for about a month, so hopefully I think it's fixed now. So I'm just going to grab random pieces that are still kind of in the package to share with you guys. Nice big pink package. Looks to be a dress. Go ahead and open it. This is from Light Fury. And it's a spooky season dress for, in my case, an all time of the year dress. Let me see if I can properly show this to you guys. I need to iron it, but it's awfully cute. So it has like this scalloped edge here. And there's the kind of kind of like spider webby arms and then it kind of has a fit and flare and it has these bats 
and spiders down it. It's very cute. It's very like a little bit of classic Wednesday Adams with these modern little spooky season bats and spider webs. Super cute. Lots of places and fun to wear that this year. And like I said, I think it's the kind of more of a more vintage cut fit and flare that I really like with these types of dresses. So I can't wait to try it on. So from Light Fairy we have this. It is a nightgown. Let's see if I can open it. This is for one of my spooky season cosplays. Very excited. So it is a white nightgown kind of vintage looking nightgown, which is what I'm going for. Long little detailing on the bottom and it has the detailing around the collar and little puff sleeves vintagey nightgown which will be so perfect for this particular character perfect bring on spooky season in that package we also have this necklace here, it's a shell, and I think I mentioned it in my previous unboxing that I'm doing a Vanessa cosplay, so in the cartoon though, and probably the new one, I haven't seen it, her shell is gold though, so I might actually paint this to be gold, but I just wanted the, the Vanessa looking necklace from little accessory there. Then we have this, which is also a cosplay I'm going to do for a spooky season. Anyone have any guesses? It's kind of a very specific wig. Very specific wig. This is a character that was voted on page so thank you to those of you that voted for this witchy character and we have these accessories these are earrings they are oh god kind of hard to see with the glare there are hearts they're bright pink hearts these are also for a cosplay but I will totally wear them normal I love big earrings with my hair short so Will be so perfect. Thank you again, Light Fury, for these pieces. This is a lovely dress. <laughs> I will actually be dyeing and adjusting for a particular Padme cosplay, but it was a good starting point for me. We have the waist tie. <laughs> it's a very pretty dress. Kind of see-through arms, but it's long dress, kind of very similar to what Padme's long dress is, but it is this black and white color and I'm going to be dyeing it closer to um, her color that is in the movie for one of her dresses. So that is going to be a work in project for Padme and I think I actually saw that I have a piece, yes, right there. It goes with this. We'll also be dyeing this piece and adjusting this piece for this 
particular Padme look. For now, it's just this light color, and it's like kind of like um, what would you say, little cover-up shawl thing with these armholes, and it's pretty long, and I'll be dyeing it to the appropriate color. So those two, this little shawl and the dress, are pieces to create the the desired Padme look. So. That's very exciting. Thank you so much. This piece here. A lot of these from Light Fury are for Halloween cosplays. So I'm very excited. You may or know what cosplay I'm going to do with this little sweatshirt here. You may, you may not. Um, this is a velvety heart sweatshirt. I recently watched a movie and I decided to add her to my spooky season cosplay list. So that's gonna be with this. And this actually goes with those heart earrings that I just showed you too. So cute. Super duper cute. <laughs> I can't wait to start filming like spooky season stuff. Happy and Japanese from Netflix. Oversized, so soft. I'm gonna wear this normal. I love cosplay pieces that I can wear as normal clothing. Um, so it's like a jumpsuit, long black jumpsuit. Um, this is going to be the first piece, and I'm going to make the other things for Gina Solo. She's been a long time dream cosplay of mine. So this is the first piece for it. I'm very excited. It has pockets. We love pockets. This is awesome. So good. Oh. Um, apparently, I'm just going to be living in this jumpsuit I got going on here because it is the most comfortable thing I've put on in a long time. So, comfortable cosplays for the win. Gonna wear it normal for the win. in this bag. I do not want to lose this. This is actually for a cosplay coming up very soon that I added to um, my cosplay list. I've always thought about cosplaying her and she's a really cool comic character so I'm going to be cosplaying this character soon. in this box here. Just adjust here. Um, Light Fury. Perfect. You guys will probably appreciate this. My <laughs> photoscope broke. So this is a new photoscope for medical videos. Thank you so much. Actually, this is like the one I had. Can I open it? Well, fine. It won't let me open it right now. But I've just been using different lights and flashlights for medical videos, so thank you so much for helping me replace my otoscope for all of those medical role plays for us. <laughs> Makes me smile so much. I didn't even, I just like. I didn't even know if anyone would gift this because <laughs> it's so funny and silly, but I am going to be cosplaying Shaggy next for Scooby-Doo Gang, you know? And then I was like, well, don't I have to cosplay Scooby? 
So I'm doing my interpretation of Scooby-Doo as well. And it needed Scooby's collar and these ears. I'm so excited. I have the pieces I think in mind already with how I'm doing the Scooby look. But these are gonna be absolutely perfect. And then I'll have done like the whole Scooby gang, which is very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, isn't this cute? It's gonna be, it's gonna be all set. This here is a beautiful red curly wig that is actually going to be for multiple characters. So thank you so much for this. Um, I originally put it on my wish list to do a rose cosplay, which I'm still gonna do. I have the necklace for that and everything, but I'm actually using this for one of my spooky season cosplays and a couple other ones that I needed the red curly wig for. So this is, I love when I can use things for multi, multiple cosplays, it's so helpful. I'm so excited. Spooky season. Everything's about spooky season right now. These are witch hats that come with like the ties. I'm gonna hang them in my living room from the ceiling. Like a bunch of witchy hats. I will most definitely show you guys how it looks. But spooky witch hat decor. Thank you so much. And then other or are these um, LED strip lights. I love the ones that I have in my office here. I'm gonna put these in my hallway, which will be, again, if you don't follow my vlogs or anything, we kind of go all out for decorating for especially Halloween and Christmas. So these will be super fun for the different holidays, changing the colors and whatnot. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is gonna be so fun. I'll show you guys how these look too. Right. This one I have not opened. This here. This is another wing. Again, going to be using this for a couple cosplays, but I specifically put it on my wish list for uh, Starlight cosplay from The Boys. If you guys watch that show on Prime, <laughs> I hope to cosplay her one day. And I saw this wing, and I thought it really looked like her hair, so I'm going to use that for her one day. And a couple other things that I needed this shorter blonde wig for. This is from Zach. Thank you so much. I have these guys here to open. This one first. from Light Fury. It's a book. <laughs> a book I've been wanting to read for quite some time. It came out a few years ago, I believe. Um, Hilary Burton Morgan, The Rural Diaries. Um, if you're not aware, I'm a big One Tree Hill fan. Hilary Burton was on One Tree Hill for quite some time. Um, she's married to Jeffrey Dean Morgan, her fan of Walking Dead, and this is like her first little book. She has another one coming out, so I definitely wanted to read this one first. I really get into different celebrities that I like, or famous people, like their biographies or just like their writings. Love, livestock, and big life lessons down on a mischief farm. Thank you so much for that. And then I have a feeling I know what's in the other package as well. Yeah. 
Yours cruelly, Elvira. <laughs> Memoirs of the Mistress of the Dark by Cassandra Peterson. So, if you didn't know, I'm a big Elvira fan, so I most definitely have been wanting to read this one, and I've heard good things. So, thank you so much for both of these books. I need to set aside time to sit down and read both of these because I've really been looking forward to reading them. Alright lovelies, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> See you guys in the next clip. Lovelies, back with some more unboxings. Today we have this adorable little box. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this. Let's see. Okay, that was fairly dramatic to open up this little ping pong. Courtney Designs, etsy.com slash shop slash Courtney Designs CA. Got a little, got a little mini sticker. are from Light Fury Bubble Wrap <laughs> They are so cute, oh my gosh Look at them, they are Madame Leota earrings I love them so much Can you see them? Little Madame Leota earrings in her crystal ball Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love them. For Haunted Mansion vibes. So cute. These are going to be so much fun. This guy here. You know what these are? These are from Douglas, I believe. I think they are what I think. They are a pajama set for Spooky Season. Look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. But then it comes with shorts. Look at these. Look at these. Look at Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start wearing these now because I mean it's hot anyway. But these are so cute. Thank you so much. So freaking cute. Spooky PJs. Okay, I didn't even know these existed until just recently. Peach Jolly Ranchers. What? These are from Douglas. Thank you. Peach is like my favorite flavor and I love Jolly Ranchers. So I am excited. I'm going to open it now. Freaking peach jolly rancher. I never heard of such a thing. It's good. I 
Now I got a whole bag of them. Okay, I'm just gonna keep eating my Jolly Rancher. This guy I already opened because I was excited, but Pocket Pop for 13 day spooky countdown. I did Christmas countdown Funko Pops last year. And then I have this spooky one for this year. For Halloween. But I gotta figure out when I'm gonna do it. I'm thinking maybe. I think you're supposed to do like the 13 days leading up to Halloween. I don't know if I can wait that long. I might do it on October 1st, maybe. For September. Maybe the 13 days leading up to October. But I haven't opened it. 13 days to open up a little dude. We have this box here, which is actually the lightest box known to mankind, which makes me think I know what it is. Whoever packed this really likes tape. Is from Light Fury. So this is actually for a spooky season cosplay and Two future cosplays. Multi purpose hat, we love it. But you'll first see it for spooky season. And I have this, which is like a box in a box. This is also from Light Fury. A mannequin head hair for ASMR hair play videos and role plays. I have some great ideas with this lovely lady. She maybe needs a name. But thank you so much. This will be so great for ASMR. She got big, big head. Well, maybe not. Maybe I have a big head. Welcome to my day. I changed my hair. season of the Sanderson sort. <laughs> so, this poor dress has gone through so much to get to me. Mary's dress here, so <laughs> I can't wait to try it on. Thank you so much for helping with my spooky season cosplays. Thank you so much. This I got today. I know what it is because of the smell and the food. Yeah. This is from the 
Nicholas coffee. This has been the coffee I've been getting lately, so thank you so much for supporting my coffee creativity addiction. Thank you so much. It's just a ground breakfast blend. Notes of brown sugar and sweet orange. It's a medium roast. So this is the coffee I've been drinking, so thank you so much, Douglas. My lovelies. Going to be opening some packages from Tuckless today. has these slits here and you know what there's shorts underneath it I didn't realize that but that is awesome so it's a long long skirt but there's shorts underneath that's freaking awesome but look at oh, so good for spooky season I love it so much oh that's so cute spooky season. We have these pajama pants. Can you see them? They are spooky pajama pants that are super soft. Oh my gosh, so we got ghosts and ghouls and bats. Frightful. So cute. So beyond cute and they're very soft. For the chilly days, which we love. Cozy PJs, thank you so much. These are so cute. Eek! Do not bend. Handle with care. coffee. It's going in my kitchen next to my coffee maker. Look at how cute. It looks like a 1950s vibe, which with her coffee, I love this. This is from Ashley uh, McRory on Etsy. Here, let me zoom in. Here's the artist here. But this is so freaking cute. I love it. That's so adorable. Another envelope. Let's see if I can get this open. This is a sticker that I love so much. Look at it. Let me zoom in because it's too cute. Look at how cute he is. I love it. And let me show you that artist as well if I can. So that's the artist of this sticker that I got as well. They're so cute. And our last package. Oops. That didn't go well. I'm such a nerd. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't. Okay, is there anything else in there? It's a hat for the the coming the coming days, right? 
Oh my gosh. Crochet Crafts by Emily. Are you ready for this hat? Because it is in fact Princess Leia Bun's hat for the cold weather. Why? Because, because last year with my hair short, I needed hats to not freeze to death. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. You guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. I think it's really cute. <laughs> okay, I love it. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> As always, thank you so much to everyone that looks at my wish list or gets me anything for videos or me or cosplays. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you in the next